In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up your elevation markers um, to show the correct information. Okay, so if we go and start creating some, so we're going to do a bathroom layout maybe, or a kitchen layout. So for this example, I'm just using a bathroom layout, and I'm using the Revit sample project to do this in. Okay, now you'll notice out the box, if I go to views, so if I go to um, architecture, sorry, view, elevation, now if I drop an elevation into this room, okay, the elevation, it will generate an elevation for me. So if I go to elevations and I go to this elevation, you'll notice that it'll create this elevation for me. Okay, now if you select the, the body of the elevation and I activate all these other views, you will notice now that it creates all the elevations that I am looking for, especially for a little bathroom layout like this. This is all that you, you'll need to provide typically. Okay, there are situations when you'll use multiple. So what it's done is it's created all my elevations for me and it's left this nice marker for me. Now the problem is this marker is generally too large. I find that these obscure, all the detail that I need to show in the layout. And if I put this, you'll notice that there's a sheet number in the middle. And if they are different sheets, it just causes quite a mess in terms of what elevation it is and what sheet number it is. And typically, these are all going to live together on one sheet. So I'm just going to quickly set up another sheet quickly. So I'm going to create a new one. So I've got one sheet I've done already. We have used sexual markers. So I'm going to create something similar, new sheet. I'm going to start dragging and dropping these views. So 1A, 1B, 1C and 1D. And you'll see that these will all fit on one view very easily at scale 1 to 20. Okay. So here I'm going to get these lined up. Good. Before they get them lined up. All right. So I'm going to switch off the level markers and that's in the meantime. But for now, good. Now I'm going to go to bathroom 2 layout that I've created. I'm going to also put that on that sheet. So in this sheet, bathroom 2. Just remember, you can always go to place view. So you can say place view. Yeah, you can also use this bottom two, add view to sheet. That's another option. Put this on your sheet. Okay. Now you'll notice, yes, because it's on the same sheet, this will work well. But this thing is too big. This is way too big to work on, on the sheet for me. Okay. So how do we go and make this a lot neater? Okay. Now, typically for my elevations, Okay, if you select one of these building elevations, I want to duplicate these. So tab again, tab, tab. If I select the building elevations, you'll notice it's put in the building elevations marker here. So what I want to do is I want to duplicate, edit type, duplicate. I want to duplicate this and make a room elevations elevation tag. So room, room elevation tag. Okay, just rename that. Sorry, there's a, too much of a space there. Good, press OK. Now, how does this work? This uses this M. It's using this object over here. And I'm going to go and show you what that object looks like. Okay, so it's using your this circle. So 12 diameter circle. So here if you go to... So M, elevation body, circle, 12, filled arrow. This is what it's using. Okay, so here you can see this is, it's a whole lot of information within, within information. So this 12 mil circle, we'll have to go and see what that looks like. So here I'm going to rename this. And you would have noticed now if I select all of these, so that, 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 and that, I'm going to change those to duplicate. I'm going to create, so in here I need to create one duplicate. I'm going to call these room, room elevations. So room elevations. Good. Press OK. So now you notice these have all moved to your room elevations. So this is the elevation body in essence, and these are the elevation markers. Okay. So, if we go to the elevation body itself, so tab, 
until we find the elevation marker and we go to edit type remember we duplicated it and we create a room elevation for that now elevation tag and if you go and find this 12 mil circle here it's got a different family type you can leave that you can rename this if you need to but for now i'm just going to explain so if you go and find m, m elevation mark body circle 12 fold okay so let's just go and find that quickly so if you go to families annotation mark body and then it will be filled error so if we go and say edit family this is what how this has all been made this is quite complex to understand but here for example that's going to reference the sheet number then this is a whole never another family which is the elevation marker which i can show you in the project but now this references that so this elevation marker over here this elevation marker here is m elevation mark pointer so i can open that here or i'll show you in the family so just say no for now so within the family if i go to m elevation pointer here's the m elevation pointer edit and this is what this looks like now i've got to made them for you so don't waste your time trying to edit these things you can use mine however you can have a go at trying to edit them okay so if you go to the bim library that i've shared with all of you and you go to families and you go to annotation and you go to elevations so this is go to elevations you're going to simply drag in detail room layout elevation so you're going to drag in elevation direction okay and you're going to go back there again and you're going to load in the, the body good now what you need to do now is in the select in the marker head you're going to go to edit type and you're going to make sure that you use so remember we duplicated this and we're going to make sure now that we're going to use our our correct one okay all right so let's just we'll get back to that in a minute so for this body let's go to this one i'm going to go to edit type here in the room names i'm going to change the call out tag so here the circle i'm going to change this to my apply now you would have noticed everything's updated as required remember when we don't delete these views anymore we can simply delete them okay but now you can see this is way smaller so just grab the elevation body itself and you're going to move this to where you need it to be now you can see this is not as intrusive as the first one here we've got our elevation marker so you can see what information we're looking at and at any point if I go to elevation and I say room elevation you'll notice that these are going to be way smaller so let me just fix that as well okay so you're going to see that this will be the same size but it's not as intrusive and you know what you're looking at and it'll only have a detail number so if i put this view on the sheet and you'll see if you went to room room layout room elevation and i went to a b c d so there's another a here for example so just see what elevation this is that is room elevation 2a so let's just grab that and put this on the view there we go okay so here you can see now and then all that we do now is we just change the detail numbers and here we typically go v1 view one okay and you'll notice this will change view one so here view two caps lock view two here we go and say v3 here you go to v4 and you'll notice this information fits in here 
and then maybe V5, V5. Okay, just means now that you can see view one, view two, view three. Okay. And this should be exactly the same size. Cool. All right, so now you can see these are not as intrusive as the large ones that you would get by default. So if I went to elevation, I went to building. Okay, let's make sure I haven't overwritten that as well. So that's, that's, I must just duplicate this. I must change this back to my, okay, let's just quickly, my apologies, I've made a mistake there. This one I need to rename. So rename this to room. And then here I'm going to press OK. It's OK. Now with the building, I just need to change this back to my 12 mil. So here I need to change it to 12 mil. So change this. So I'm going to say duplicate, I'm going to 12, 12, 12 millimeter. Then this one, I'm going to go back to my standard 12 mil. Press apply, press OK, press OK. You'll notice that these elevation markers are way bigger, contain more information that's not, that's not required. OK, so you can see these take up way more space. The building elevation ones take up way more space than these little elevation markers. OK, so just remember the body moves, if you move the body, it doesn't affect where the elevation starts from, but if you move, you'll have to select the, the marker to change where it moves from. But you say it's, you can see the sticks within the lines. So this does a really good job to show you exactly the room that you're dealing with. At any point, you can just make these slightly larger or smaller, just so that you can show some extra content that might be required, especially if you need to fix something to the wall or show the drainage is gonna work. Okay. All right, so you can see on our sheet, that is quite neat and compact. Okay, so that's how those work. And again, remember, you can go and add detailed information to all of these. But in essence, that's how you go and customize these elevation um, markers.